this video, we're going to talk about the slope intercept form of a line. Now, we've already introduced the idea of the standard form of a line, which is ax plus by equals c. If we solve that standard form for y, we can rearrange it to be in the slope intercept form. And the slope intercept form would be y equals mx plus b. Now, this is a lowercase m and a lowercase b. So just to show you how you would do this, we're going to start with the linear equation 4x minus 3y equals 12, which is currently written in standard form. And we're going to rewrite it in slope intercept form. In other words, we're going to solve in that standard form for y. So if I want to isolate that negative 3y term, I need to move the 4x to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. So that gives us 4x minus 3y minus 4x equals 12 minus 4x. And you can see we just did the exact same thing, subtracting 4x on both sides. This leaves me with negative 3y on the left and 12 minus 4x on the right. Now my goal is still to isolate y, and I have negative 3 multiplied by the y. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. That will give me negative 3y over negative 3. And on the right, 12 minus 4x over negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is just 1. So we're left with 1y equals. And then on the right, I can split this up as two fractions. It's really the 12 that's over the negative 3 and then minus 4x over negative 3. So now I have 1y equals 12 over negative 3 minus 4x over negative 3. And now just cleaning up our math a little bit, we can write it as y equals negative 4 plus 4 thirds x. Now this isn't quite in the form y equals mx plus b because the x term is coming second, but we can just rearrange the x term so that we have y equals 4 thirds x minus 4. And now we have it in the same form as y equals mx plus b. Now you might think that was a lot of work to go through, and all we've done is come up with a more complicated equation. But it turns out that this slope-intercept form is really useful because you can read the slope and the y-intersect directly from the formula. m is the slope of the line, so in this case, the m, which is the number before the x, is 4 thirds. So we know this line has a slope of 4 thirds. We also know that the b value is the y-intercept of the line. And so in this case, the y-intercept is negative 4. It's the number that's added or subtracted from the x term. Knowing those two things, the slope and the y-intercept, makes it really easy to sketch the graph of a line because we can simply plot the point and then use a slope triangle to continue to find more points on that line. So let's try two together and then I'll give you two to try by yourself. y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. Let's first identify the slope and the y-intercept of that equation. The slope is 2 thirds so m is 2 thirds, and the y-intercept is negative 4, so that's 0 comma negative 4. Now when we're graphing a line from the slope and a point, we always start by graphing the point first. So let's go ahead and graph 0, negative 4, so y-intercept at negative 4, and then we'll use our slope triangle of 2 thirds. That's a rise of 2 and a run of 3. So from this negative 4 y-intercept, we're going to rise 2 units, 1, 2, and run three units in the right-hand direction, giving us another point. And then we can just repeat that, rise two, run three. We'll pull out our ruler, go ahead and draw that line. We can see as we have an increasing line that has a y-intercept of negative four and a slope of two-thirds. Cool, huh? The next graph we'll look at is y equals negative 3x plus 2. 
So again, let's just identify the slope and y-intercept from this graph. It might help to write the slope-intercept form directly above it, y equals mx plus b. Then we can see clearly that the slope is negative 3 and the y-intercept is positive 2. Now that y-intercept is a point. It's the point 0, comma 2. And our slope is negative 3 or negative 3 over 1, so that we have both a rise and a run. We start by graphing our point at 0, 2. And then our slope will go down 3, 1, 2, 3. And then to the right, 1 unit, giving us a point at 1, comma, negative 1. Let's just repeat that one more time. Down 1, 2, 3 units. And to the right, 1 unit. And that gives us a point at 2, comma, negative 4. We'll pull out our ruler, and we'll play connect the dots with those points. And we'll go ahead and make our straight line. So this is a decreasing line with a y-intercept at 0, comma, 2. Now, this is a great time to pause the video and make sure that you can do this. So I want you to sketch y equals 2 thirds x plus 1 and y equals x plus 2. And you're just going to sketch those on the axes we've already got on the page here. So pause the video and give it a try. Okay, you're back. So let's see how you did. We're going to graph y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. This has a slope of 2 thirds. So it's a rise of 2 and a run of 3. And a y-intercept of 0, comma 1. Let's start by graphing 0, comma 1, and then rise 2 from that, so up 2, and to the right 3. Rise 2, 1, 2, and to the right 3. So that gives us new points of, so we started with 0, 1, now we have 3, 3, and we have 6, 5. If we pull in our ruler for that. connect those points, you might realize that this new line we've drawn is actually parallel to the first line we drew. And the reason that those two are parallel is because they actually have um, the same slope, that two-thirds slope. And so they have the exact same steepness, which means that they're parallel. In fact, we could define parallel lines as lines that have the same slope. Okay, our second one is y equals x plus 2. Hopefully you figured out the trick in this, which is that if there's nothing in front of the x, the coefficient's actually 1, 1x. One so our slope here is 1, or we could say 1 over 1, a rise of 1 and a run of 1. And then our y-intercept is 0, comma 2. So let's give that one a try. So we're going to have a y-intercept. It's the same place as the last one for its y-intercept, and uh, we'll do a slope of 1 from that. So up 1 and to the right 1 to get the next point, up 1 and to the right 1 to get the next point. And then let's pull out our ruler and give this a draw. Now, maybe you were expecting a set of perpendicular lines just because the last set was parallel, but these are not, in fact, perpendicular lines. Um, if you're curious about that, perpendicular lines have to have slopes that are opposite in sign and then reciprocals of each other. In other words, the fraction gets flipped upside down. So this is not that case. What we do share for the graphs of y equals negative 3x plus 2 and y equals x plus 2 is a y-intercept of positive 2 on both graphs.